the Bristol Institute of Business Management, the proud sponsors of Let's Get Quizzical, game number six. Here we go. Question number one. Kitulgala is a popular hotspot for white water rafting in Sri Lanka. In which district is Kitulgala located? In which district of Sri Lanka is Kitulgala located? In which district of Sri Lanka is Kitulgala located? Is it Kandy, Ratnapura, Turunagala, or Kegor? The correct answer is Kegal, right? 40 people think it's Ratnapura, but Kitulgala, the most popular whitewater rafting destination in Sri Lanka, is located in the Kegal district. Well done to the 21 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard after question number one. Okay, Rajeshan is in the lead. 950 points closely followed by Satindu, Vermin Supreme, Vinya, and Schrodinger's Cat. Well done. Let's look at our next question. What is considered to be the driest place on planet Earth? What is considered to be the driest place? Is it the Sahara Desert? Is it Siberia? Is it the Atacama Desert? Or is it the Gobi Desert? What is the driest place on planet Earth? The correct answer is the Atacama Desert in Chile. A lot of people think it's Sahara, but no. The Atacama Desert receives less than 0.01 inches of rain every year. I think in 2015, it rained 0.9 inches. That's, they say, that's like 14 years of rain in just one day, right? So it doesn't rain there at all. The Atacama Desert in Chile is the driest place on planet Earth. Well done to 35 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard after two questions. Okay, Schrodinger's cat has jumped up into the lead. Closely followed by Satindu, Hanul, Hate, Mahatya, and Vinya. All right, let's look at our next question. When is International Women's Day celebrated? When is International Women's Day celebrated? Is it the 1st of April? Is it the 8th of May? Is it the 5th of June? Or is it the 8th of March? Bit of an easy question, right? Of course, the correct answer is the 8th of March. Three people think it's the 1st of April, <laughs> right? 8th of May is actually World Red Cross Day. 17 people thought it was the 8th of May. 5th of June is the World Environment Day. Also my birthday, the best day of the year after Christmas. But International Women's Day is celebrated on the 8th of March. Well done to the 43 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Well done, Vinu. You're into the top five for the first time. Schrodinger's cat still in the lead. We move on to our next question. A lake is an inland body of slowly moving or standing water. What is the world's deepest? What is the world's deepest lake? Is it the Caspian Sea? Is it Lake Baikal? Is it Lake Titicaca or Lake Tanganyika? Well done. The correct answer is Lake Baikal. Of course, Caspian Sea is the world's largest lake. Lake Titicaca is actually the lake located at the highest altitude. Lake Tanganyika comes in at second in terms of uh, how deep it is. But the Baikal Lake at 5,369 feet is the deepest lake in the world. Well done. To the 53 of you who got that correct, let's look at our leaderboard now. Okay, Schrodinger's cast still in the lead. Very closely followed by Satindu, Hate Mahatya, Handel, and Vinu JS. Well done. We look at our next question. Uluru or Ayers Rock is one of the world's most famous landmarks. 
In which state of Australia is it located? Which state of Australia is Uluru or Ayers Rock located? Is it Victoria? Is it the Northern Territory? Is it Western Australia or is it Queensland? Oh, very close. So Uluru or Ayers Rock is a sandstone rock formation. It's considered sacred by the Aborigines who live in Australia. It is located in the state Northern Territory. Well done to the 30 of those who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Okay, Satindu has jumped up into the lead. Very closely followed by Schrodinger's cat, Hate Mahatya. Vinu JS is in fourth, Crazy K is in fifth. We move on to question number six. In which country is the world's largest pyramid located? In which country is the world's largest pyramid located? Don't think about the picture you see on the screen, right? The question is, which country has the world's largest pyramid? Is it Sudan, Peru, Mexico or Egypt? Oh, very close. The correct answer is Mexico. So, a lot of the world have pyramids. Of course, if you remember in one of the previous episodes, I asked you which country has the most number of pyramids. Sudan is was the correct answer. Sudan, I think, has more than 225 pyramids. But the world's largest pyramid is called the Great Pyramid of Cholula. It's located in Mexico. Well done to the 20 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. All right, Hate Mahatya is into second. Binu is into third. Well done, Satindu, you're still in the lead. We move on to our next question. Which of the following countries does not use the rupee as its currency? The following countries does not use the rupee as its currency is it Bangladesh? Is it India? Is it Seashells or is it Pakistan? Oh, well done. 44 of you got that correct. India uses the rupee. Seashells uses the rupee. Pakistan uses the rupee. But Bangladesh uses the taka as its national currency. Well done. It's a very interesting bit of research for especially the young people who are connecting. So a lot of school children are connecting. Go and find out what uh, the different currencies of countries are. There are some currencies which are common to a lot of countries. So the rupee is a common cu currency shared by a lot of countries, but Bangladesh is certainly not one of them. Taka is the currency used in Bangladesh. Well done. Let's look at our leaderboard after seven questions. Hate Mahatya has now come up into the lead. Closely followed by Satindu. Upchak is into the top five. Curtis Camphor as well as Milan. Well done. We are down to the last question of round number one. Of Let's get quizzical. Game number six sponsored by the Bristol Institute of Business Management. Let's look at our last question of round one. What is the only national flag to not have red, white or blue? What is the only national flag in the world to not have red, white or blue in the flag? Is it Qatar, Bhutan, France or Jamaica? An interesting question. Well done, you guys certainly know your national flags. Jamaica is the only flag in the world not to have red, white or blue in their national flag. If you remember the national flag, a lot of Sri Lankan tuk-tuks or three-wheelers have the Jamaican flag on it, right? So it's uh, black, yellow and green. Well done. 44 of you got the correct. Qatar has white. Bhutan also has white. France has all the three colors I've included on the question. Jamaica does not have red, white or blue. It is the only flag in the world not to have those three colors. Let's look at our leaderboard at the end of round number one. 
Raya Satindu has once again taken the lead. Ate Mahatya is in second. Apshak is in third. Curtis Kampfer is in fourth. Vinu JS is back in the top five. Well done. Pissapusa, well done. You're back with an answer streak of three. Excellent stuff. Round number two will have eight questions on current affairs and world politics. Let's look at our first question. We just completed electing our new parliament. How many MPs are elected by the voters to parliament? How many MPs are elected by the voters to parliament? Is it 200? Is it 225? Is it 196? Or is it 198? Interesting question. The correct answer is 196. So out of the 225 seats in the parliament, 196 members are elected. The balance 29 are from the national list. Jatika lies to it, right? So 196 are the elected members while the 29 who make up the 225 are from the national list. Well done to 38 of you who got the correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Hey, Curtis Kampfer is in third. Satindu still in the lead. Very closely followed by Hate Mahatya. All right, we'll look at our next question. What is the current name given to the official aircraft carrying the president of the USA? What is the current name given to the official aircraft which carries the president of the USA? Is it the sacred cow? Is it the bald eagle? Is it Eagle One or is it Air Force One? Well done. You know your world uh, politics and current affairs. Of course, the na official aircraft carrying the president of the US is called Air Force One. So this Air Force One was actually created in 1953. The early official aircraft was actually called the Sacred Cow. It carried uh, presidents like Franklin Roosevelt, Harry Truman. But the current official aircraft carrying the president of the USA is called Air Force One. There's a fantastic movie starring Harrison Ford as well. If you have the time, please do watch it. Excellent movie. Excellent stuff by the 47 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Okay, Apchak is now in the third. Reptile is in fourth. Vinu is in fifth. Satindu is still in the lead. Very closely followed by Hate Mahatya. Okay, we look at our next question. The state of Victoria announced the state of lockdown this week. Who is the Prime Minister of Australia? Easy question. Who is the current Prime Minister of Australia? Is it Malcolm Turnbull? Is it Tony Abbott? Is it Scott Morrison? Or is it John Howard? All of these have been Prime Ministers, but who is the current Prime Minister? The correct answer is, of course, Scott Morrison. He has been Prime Minister of Australia since 2018. So the state of Victoria announced lockdown this week because of the increased number of COVID-19 cases. Well done to the 57 of you who got that correct. Scott Morrison is the Prime Minister of Australia. Right, not much of a change in the top five. Satindu is still in the lead. We look at our next question. From 1949 to 1990, which city served as the capital of West Germany? From 1949 to 1990, which city served as the capital of West Germany? Was it Bern? Was it Berlin? Was it Frankfurt or was it Bonn? So close. The correct answer is Bonn. So if you do not know, uh, what happened after the World War, Second World War was there was a wall between, uh, there was a wall in Berlin, it was called the Berlin Wall. It separated two countries, West Germany and East Germany. The capital of East Germany was called East Berlin, but the capital of West Germany was called Bonn. 
Well done to the 27 of you who got that correct. A lot of people thought it was Frankfurt. Frankfurt is also a very important city in Germany, but Bonn was the capital of West Germany from 1949 to 1990 when the Berlin Wall came down. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Okay, Schrodinger's cat has jumped back into the top five. Sherlock is in fifth as well. Satindu still in the lead. Let's look at our next question. Interesting question. I hope you get this correct. Which king was supposed to have built the Royal Assembly Hall that was recently destroyed in Kurunagala? Which king was supposed to have built the Royal Assembly Hall that was recently destroyed in Kurunagala? Was it Buoneka Bahu the second? Was it Buoneka Bahu the first? Was it Veera Bahu the first? Or was it Parakrama Bahu the fourth? Well done. So from uh, 1310 to 1325, King Buonekabahu II was the king of Dambadenia. Right? Well done. He created he is supposed to have created the Royal Assembly Hall, which was recently destroyed, allegedly, allegedly by the mayor of Kurunagala. Virabahu, no, not the correct answer. Buonekabahu the first, no. Parakram Bahu the fourth was actually the son of Buonika Bahu the second. Well done to the 50 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Alright, so Sherlock is in fourth. King Kong has jumped up into the top five. Satindu still in the lead. Let's look at our next question. Who is the current Prime Minister of Malaysia? Who is the current Malaysia? Is it Mahathir Mohammed? Is it Muhyiddin Yassin? Is it Najib Razak or is it Mushfikur Rahim? Well done. Some people think it's Mushfikur Rahim. Mushfikur Rahim is actually a Bangladeshi cricketer. He's a captain as well of the Bangladeshi cricket team. The correct answer is Muhyiddin Yasin Mahathir Mohamad was the Prime Minister until March. He gave up his uh, position to Mr. Yasin, who is now the current Prime Minister. Najib Razak was the former Prime Minister who was arrested recently. Well done to the 22 of you who got that correct. Muhyiddin Yasin is the current Prime Minister of Malaysia. He's been the Prime Minister since March this year. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Hey, Sherlock is in third now. Schrodinger's cat has once again come up into the top five. Satindu is still in the lead, very closely followed by Hate Mahatya. Just, I think, about 46 points difference between the two of them. Let's look at our next question. What is the name of the Caribbean island that's home to the countries of Haiti and Dominica? The name of the Caribbean island home to Haiti. And Dominica, is it Antilles? Is it Hispaniola? Is it Windward Island? Or is it the West Indies? Well done. The correct answer is Hispaniola. It is the most populous island in the West Indies. Batira Kode Dupatpala, Janagahane Adikama Dupata, Hispaniola. It is also the second largest island in the Caribbean Sea of the Cuba. Hispaniola is the large island which plays home to Haiti and Dominica. Well done to the 27 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Not much of a change in the top five. Well done. We are down to the last question of round number two of Let's Get Quizzical game number six. Antonio Guterres is the ninth Secretary General of the UN. What is his country of Antonio Guterres is the ninth Secretary General of the UN. What is his country of birth? Is it Portugal? Is it Spain? Is it Italy? Or is it Belgium? Of course, the correct answer is Portugal. Antonio Guterres, the current Secretary General of the UN, was also the Prime Minister of Portugal before 
we are at the end of two rounds of let's get physical game number six let's look at our leaderboard after round number two okay not much of a change the top five something is still in the lead Hate Mahatya is in second very closely followed by Sherlock Upchuck and Schrodinger's cat. Well done, Sherlock. You have the highest answer streak of 11 questions. Well done. Okay, we are now down to the third round. Questions on business technology. Let's look at question number one. Round number three. In which city does the World Economic Forum have its annual international meeting? In which city? Does the World Economic Forum have its annual international meeting? Is it Geneva? Is it Brussels? Is it Barcelona? Or is it Davos? So every year, the World Economic Forum meets in this beautiful little city of Davos in Switzerland. They discuss a lot of things. They probably have a lot of fun because it's a, uh, it's an al alpine city as well. It's, uh, it's at the foothills of the Alps uh, mountain range. Well done to the 33 of you who got the correct Davos was the correct answer. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Schrodinger's cat has now come up into fourth. Satindu is still in the lead. Well done. Hate Mahatya is very close to him now. Due to its fast-growing logistics and government support, which city is known as the Silicon Valley of India? It's known as the Silicon Valley of India. Is it Bangalore? Is it Chennai? Is it Mumbai? Or is it Pune? Well done, the Silicon Valley of India is Bangalore. 47 of you got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Not too much of a change, the top five. Satindu still retains his lead. We'll look at our next question. Known as the Oracle of Omaha, he's one of the most successful and richest people in the world. Who is he? As you see, he's known as the Oracle of Omaha. Is he Bill Gates? Is he Larry Ellison? Is he Bernard Arnault? Or is it Warren Buffett? I almost said Buffet. It's Buffett, pronounced Buffett. He has an estimated wealth of 71.8 billion US dollars. He is the chairman and CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, Warren Buffett is known as the Oracle of Omaha because he's from Omaha in Nebraska. Well done to the 45 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Not much of a change again in the top five. So everyone knows their answers. Well done. Ranked among the world's most powerful women. She was the former chairman of Pepsi. Who is she? she was the former chairman and CEO of Pepsi. Who is she? Is it Oprah Winfrey, Preeta Reddy, Indra Nui, or is it Nita Ambani? Indra Nui was the former chairman and CEO of Pepsi. She's ranked very consistently among the world's most powerful women. Well done to the 41 of you who got that correct, let's look at our leaderboard now. Okay, Hate Mahatya has now overtaken Satidu into the lead. Schrodinger's cat is now in third. Sherlock is in fourth. Upchak is in fifth. Well done. We look at our fifth question, round number three. Cisco is a world leader in technology. What does its logo depict? What does the Cisco logo depict? Is it an X-ray of the founder? Is it an ECG report of the founder? Is it the Golden Gate Bridge? Or is it the World Trade Center in New York? Interesting question. I'm sure you know the answer. Yes, so Cisco is one of the world's leaders in technology. It's based in San Francisco. 
The logo you saw depicts the Golden Gate Bridge of San Francisco. Well done to the 44 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Lots of a change in the top five once again. Hate Mahatya is still in the lead. Well done. What is the name given to the first electronic supercar developed in Sri Lanka? What is the name given to the first electronic supercar developed in Sri Lanka? Is it Micro? Is it Cheetah? Is it Lightning? Or is it Vega? Everyone, almost everyone knew the answer correctly. The first electronic supercar developed by Codegen, a company in Sri Lanka, is called Vega. Well done to the 63 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Once again, once again, let's look at our seventh question of round number three. Well done, Sashi. You're the highest climber. You're up six places. Which U.S. city is Coca-Cola headquartered in? Which U.S. city is Coca-Cola headquartered in? Is it Houston, Texas? Is it Atlanta, Georgia? Is it Los Angeles, California? Or is it Orlando, Florida? Of course, Coca-Cola is headquartered in Atlanta, Georgia. Well done to the 39 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Not much of a change still in the top five. Let's look at the last question of round number three. BOP is a common term associated with Ceylon tea. What does BOP say? BOP is a common term associated with Ceylon tea. What does BOP stand for? Is it brewed on purchase? Is it broken organic produce? Is it broken orange peco? Or is it born out of perfection? Of course, the correct answer is broken orange peco. So now, tea, once plucked and it's, uh, you know, uh, manufactured and processed is graded right so broken orange pickle i'm sure if you take a pack of tea when if after this go go to your kitchen ask your mom for a pack of tea and just have a look it's say it would say it would probably say bop or bopf right so bop stands for broken orange pickle bopf stands for broken orange pickle fannings well done to the 28 of you who got that correct let's look at the leaders after three rounds Okay, only the top three got that correct. Hate Mahatya still in the lead at 21,368. Satinu very closely in second, 21,088. Schrodinger's cat, 19,450. Sherlock is in fourth. Upchuck is in fifth. Well done. It was a tough round. Six players lost their answer streak of three. Round number four is history and anything to do with uh, creative art. Adolf Hitler was the leader of the Nazi party and the main figure of World War II. Where was Hitler born? Where was Adolf Hitler born? Was it Poland? Was it Germany? Was it Austria or was it Romania? Well done, you guys certainly know your history. So Adolf Hitler was born in a place called Bro no M in a place in Austria. Well done to the 50 of you who got that correct. Let's go about the board now. Much of a change in the top five. We look at question number two of round number four. Many of us grew up reading the Ting Ting series, the story of a young news reporter. What is Ting Ting's nationality? What is Ting Ting's nationality? Was he Belgian? Was he Dutch? Was he French or was he English? 
จริงจริงอ๋อช่างช่างแท่งแท่งเวลดันไรสุดทิ้งดิ้งครีเอทเดอร์บายเฮิร์ดจ์หรือเฮิร์ดเจ้ was a Belgian so เฮิร์ดจ์ was a Belgian cartoonist and a writer he created the famous ทิ้งทิ้งซีรีส์สุดทิ้งทิ้ง was a Belgian let's go read about now มาพัฒนาเชนต์ top five so top five have been getting the answers correct quite consistently well done Rajesh Shan the back with an answer streak of three look at our Next question. The position of speaker is always a problem in our Sri Lankan Parliament. Who was the independent? Who was independent Ceylon's speaker? Right. The, the position of speaker is always a hot spot in our Parliament. Who was Ceylon's first speaker? Was it Sir Oliver Gunatilaka? Was it Sir Francis m o l a m u r e Was it Sir Henry m a l k n e s o n m u e r Or was it Sir T B Jayatilaka? Well done, you guys certainly know your Sri Lankan history. So, Sir Oliver Gunatilaka and Sir Henry m a n k n e s o n m u a were both governor generals. Sir D. B. Jayatilaka was a politician; he was a statesman and a diplomat. But Sir Francis m o l a m u r e was the first speaker of the Ceylonese Parliament. Well done to the 40 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Ate m a h a t e a still in the lead. Let's look at our next question. Declared the tallest statue in the world in 1967, Motherland Cause is located in. In which city is Motherland Cause? The picture you see on the screen, the statue you see, located. Is it Volgograd, Russia? Is it Budapest, Hungary? Is it Berlin, Germany, or Leningrad, Russia? It was the tallest statue in the world in 1967. Ooh, Volgograd, Russia is the correct answer. Quite a few think it's Leningrad, but no, Motherland calls. It's a huge statue. In 1967, it was declared the world's tallest statue. It uh, was uh, built to commemorate the Battle of Stalingrad. Of course, now there are much more taller statues, but in 1967, Motherland calls in Volgograd, Russia. Was the tallest statue in the world? Well done to the 32 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. All right, so Rahul J is into the top five for the first time. Upchak is in fourth. s h o r i n g e r s cat still in third. s a k i n d u in second. Mahate Mahatya is still in the lead. Okay, let's look at our next question. It might be a bit tricky. Which of the following fictional characters is not identified as a detective? Which of the following is not a detective? Is it Jane Marple? Is it Hercule Poirot? Is it Ace Ventura? Or is it James Bond? A trick question. Well done, James Bond is the correct answer. Jane Marple is a detective in, uh, created by Agatha Christie. So is Hercule Poirot. Ace Ventura is a pet detective. If you watch those Ace Ventura movies starring Jim Carrey, pretty hilarious. But James Bond is a Secret Service agent, not necessarily a detective. Well done to the 25 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Okay, Satindu is back in the lead. Very closely followed by Hatem h a t t e a Schrodinger's cat is in third. Rahul J is in fourth. Upchak is in fifth. Let's look at our next question. Which of the following mammals lays eggs? Which of the following mammals lays eggs? Is it the bat? Is it the dolphin? Is it the echidna? Or is it the a r d b a r k Well done. So, out of the many species of mammals, there are only two mammals that lay eggs. One is the echidna. The other is the platypus. Star of what a platypus? Kila k a n i s i n g a l e right? 
So the bat, yes, it's also a mammal. A dolphin is a mammal. An aardvark is a mammal. But the echidna is the only out of the four of the mammals that lay eggs. Well done to the 33 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Not much of a change in the top five. We move on to question number seven. According to Greek mythology, who flew too close to the sun? According to Greek mythology, who flew too close to the sun? Was it Superman? Was it Achilles? Was it Icarus? Or was it Daedalus? Daedalus. Daedalus. Wow, you guys certainly know your Greek mythology. So according to Greek mythology, Daedalus, the father, who was also an inventor, he is supposed to have invented the labyrinth. He and his son were imprisoned in the island of Crete in Greece. So Daedalus, the brilliant scientist that he was, he created uh, wings, right? So that he and his son Icarus can fly out and escape. So he used feathers and he fixed the feathers using wax. He warned his son, Icarus, don't fly too close to the sun. Icarus being the young, uh, you know, inquisitive lad didn't listen to the father he flew close to the sun the sun melted the wax and he fell crashing down Icarus was the boy who flew too close to the sun let's look at our leaderboard now not much of a change in the top five we are down to the last question of round number four the late NBA star Kobe Bryant won an Oscar for the best animated short film. What was the name of the movie? The late NBA star Kobe Bryant won an Oscar for the best animated short film in 2018. What was the name of this movie? Was it Dear Basketball? Was it Dribble? Was it Space Jam? Or was it Slam Dunk? Well done, you guys certainly know your Oscar Award winners. Dear Basketball was the name of the best animated short film in 2018. Kobe Bryant, the basketball star who passed away this year, won that award. Space Jam was a movie in 1996 starring Michael Jordan. But the correct answer here was Dear Basketball. Well done to the 37 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard after four rounds. All right, so Sherlock is back to the top five at 23,366. Rahul J is in fourth, 24,588. Schrodinger's cat is at 26,912. Hate Mahatya is at 27,869. And leading after four rounds is Satinu, 28,234. All to play for in round number five. Let's get quizzical. Game number six, sponsored by the Bristol Institute of Business Management. So, round number five will have eight questions on sports. I think pretty easy questions. I think you should be able to get this correct. Remember. 1500 points up for grabs of each question if you get it correct so anything can happen anything can change let's look at question number one which bowler became only the seventh in the history of test cricket to pick up 500 wickets last week one bowler became only the seventh bowler in the history of test cricket to pick up 500 test wickets was it james anderson was it kema Roach? Was it Yasir Shah or was it Stuart Broad? Well done. So not much of cricket happening uh, these days except in England. Uh, so Stuart Broad, the English fast bowler, picked up his 500th test wicket last week in the game uh, played against the West Indies. James Anderson is already at 590. Some say he has a very good chance if he continues playing for the next few years. He might even break Morley's record. I don't know, right? But Stuart Broad became the seventh bowler in the history of Test cricket to pick up 
500 wickets. Let's look at our leaderboard after that question. Not much of a change. The top five. Well done, Kugan Gajanan. You're up four places after that last question. You are the highest climber for that particular question. Let's look at question number two. Which team has won the most number of English Premier League football titles? Which team has won the most number of English Premier League football titles? Is it Liverpool? Is it Arsenal? Is it Manchester United? Or is it Chelsea? So Manchester United has won 20 English Premier League football titles. Liverpool has won 19. Arsenal has won 13. Chelsea has won just six. They are joint uh, with six titles with Manchester City. Everton has won it nine times, but Manchester United is the most successful team in English football history with the most number of league titles, which is 20. Well done to the 37 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. All right, so Upchuck is into the top five once again. Satindu has hit 30,000 points. Well done, Satindu. You are still in the lead. But remember, it's very close, right? Let's look at our next question. The Invictus Games is an international adaptive multi sport event. Who is the creator of Invictus Games? Who is the creator of the Invictus Games, which is an international? adaptive multi-sport event it's organized especially for war veterans and disabled soldiers was it Dwayne the Rock Johnson Prince Harry John Cena or Nelson Mandela oh the answers are split so Dwayne the Rock Johnson does the Titan games John Cena the wrestler as well I, I'm not sure if he does any games <laughs> he hosts any games or organizes any sports events Nelson Mandela, the former president of South Africa, he uh, <laughs> features in the movie Invictus, but not the Invictus Games, which was created by Prince Harry. So, the Invictus Games was created by Prince Harry because he wanted to honor the injured soldiers, the war veterans who were disabled. Okay, so, it's, it has nine events, including wheelchair, basketball, sitting, volleyball, indoor rowing. So, the 2018 Invictus Games were held in Sydney. The 2020 Invictus Games were supposed to be held at The Hague in Netherlands. But unfortunately, due to the pandemic, it has been postponed. Prince Harry is the correct answer. Well done to the 28 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Schrodinger's cat has now overtaken Hathya Mahathya in the second. Satindu, be careful. She's coming up now. <laughs> Satyadu still in the lead at 30,734. Uh, Rahul J is in fourth. Upchak is in fifth. Let's look at our next question. Question number four of our last round. In volleyball, how many minimum points should a team score to win the first four? In volleyball, how many minimum points should a team score to win the first four sets? Was it? Is it 25? Is it 21? Is it 15 or is it 20? Wow, well done. Right, so I thought a lot of people will get this wrong, but it, you know, the answers are very equally uh, distributed. So I always try to ask a question on volleyball because it is a national sport and I believe we should know a bit more about volleyball than we do right now. So the rules of volleyball keep constantly changing, right? So when we were growing up, a set was at 15 points. And I think then it became 21. But now the first four sets are concluded if a team reaches 25 points first. Or uh, if it passes 25, it has to have a two-point difference, right? So uh, the last set, of course, concludes at 15 points. But the first four sets in volleyball concludes at 25 points. Well done to the 28 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. All right, so very close. I think only two, three, and four got that correct. 
just a uh, hundred odd point difference, less than a hundred point difference between Satindu and Schrodinger's cat. Hatem Mahathya is also very close, just nine points separating him and Schrodinger's cat. Rahul J is in fourth, Upchak is in fifth. Well done, Vinu J. Yes, you're back with an arch streak of three. Let's look at our next question. In rowing, there's one player who doesn't seem to do anything but shout at the others. What is this position called? There is one player who seemingly does nothing but shout while the others row. What is this position called? Is it the stern? Is it the coxswain? Is it the skipper? Or is it the bow? Well done! You certainly know you are rowing. So in rowing, there is one position. Mukut karan ne kaya gahane ke vitarai karan. Right? Uh, I'm sure my wife will also say that I am also the same. <laughs> right? So the coxswain's role is to encourage the, the other rowers to perform well. He also looks at, so he or she sits facing the opposite side. So the rowers are facing the front of the, the boat while the coxswain or the cox is facing the other side. The coxswain also tells them, okay, there's a team coming close by. Uh, right? So, the coxswain is constantly talking. Well done to the 43 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. Okay, not much of a change. The top five, very slim lead uh, by Satindu. Schrodinger's cat has the highest answer streak of 24. Well done, wow. Hate Mahate is also really close. I think this is probably the closest competition we have had uh, in quite a while, right? Let's look at our sixth question. Three more questions to go. Anything can happen. Who is the current president of the IOC, the International Olympic? Who is the current president of the International Olympic Committee? Is it Thomas Bach? Is it Sebastian Co? Is it Juan Antonio Samaranch? Or is it Jacques Rogue? Well done. So Thomas Bach is the current president of the IOC or International Olympic Committee. Sebastian Co, an Olympian representing the Great Britain. I think he was a gold medalist as well. He was, I think, the chairman of the London Olympic Games. Juan Antonio Samaraj held the position of IOC president for over 20 years. I think from 1980 to 2000 or something like that. Jack Throg was also a president of the IOC. But the current president is Thomas Bach. Well done to the 33 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. All right, Praveen Wick has come up into the top five as well. Satindu is still in the lead, very closely followed by Schrodinger's cat and Hate Mahatya. One small mistake can ruin everything. Two more questions to go. Let's look at our seventh question. What is the name given to the New Zealand women's cricket team? What is the name given to the New Zealand women's cricket team? Is it the black caps, the white feathers, the white ferns, or the black girls? Well done, of course, the New Zealand women's cricket team. They are called the White Ferns. Black Caps is the name of the men's cricket team. White Feathers, I just made it up. Black Girls sounds a bit racist, right? But the correct answer is White Ferns. Well done to 39 of you who got that correct. Let's look at our leaderboard now. All right, so Schrodinger's cat has now overtaken Satidu into the lead at 33,546. Satindu is very close. I think, I think it's less than 50 points the difference. Hate Mahathya is in third. Rahul J is in fourth. Praveen Vic is in fifth. Well done, Blue Emu67. You're back in the game with three in a row. Ladies and gentlemen, we are down to the last question of Let's Get Quizzical. Game number six, sponsored by the Bristol Institute of Business Management. Who will be the winner? Let's look at our last question. 
In which sport do teams compete to win the Stanley Cup? Which sport do teams compete to win the Stanley Cup? Is it the is it horse racing? Is it baseball? Is it badminton or is it ice hockey? Well done. The Stanley Cup is presented to the game of ice hockey. Some people think it's horse racing, baseball, or badminton. The correct answer is ice hockey. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to reveal the winner of Let's Get Quizzical Game Number Six, sponsored by the Bristol Institute of Business Management. Let's see. I think this is the closest competition we have ever had in the series so far. Let's reveal our winners. In third place, Ate Mahatya, well done. In second place, Satidu, and the winner is Schrodinger's cat. Wow, I think just six points the difference. Rahul J is in fourth, Praveen is in fifth. Well done <coughs> to our winners. Excellent stuff. Really close competition. If you look at the look at the points. It was really, really close. Well done, girls and boys. Once again, thank you so much for being a part of Let's Get Physical Game Number Six, sponsored by the Bristol Institute of Business Management. And I think it was the most exciting competition we have had so far. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm telling this once again. I need as much support as I can get. Take care. Good night. God bless you all.